Hey guys, what's up? If you want to use Oolong Swap, you have to be connected to the Boba mainnet, which means you already have to add your Boba network to your MetaMask wallet. All right. See, if you're doing this on PC, you have to be connected to the uh, MetaMask wallet, same as the mobile. So first of all, you have to add Boba network to your MetaMask. Just in case you didn't know, Oolong Swap is the first DEX on Boba network. So how do you add your um, uh, Boba mainnet to the MetaMask? You simply visit Chainlist.org chainlist.org right here. I'm going to leave all the links in the description that you need. You connect your wallet when you come here, search for Boba Network. Once you search for Boba Network, this first one, this is a test net, so you go to the main, uh, Boba Network, connect your wallet. Once you've connected your wallet, you're going to add your Boba Network to your MetaMask wallet. So after that, you'll be able to switch your networks and put your along, uh, connect your along swap to your Bobo mainnet right here. And a lot of a lot of uh, people are concerned about high paying high F gas fees when they want to swap. For example, you want to buy Olo. Of course, the token is live right now. Uh, Olong swap actually just went live a couple of days back, and the token is live. The Olo token now here, people can farm. You and I can farm the Olo token right here on the various pools right here okay so you can provide liquidity on some of these pools and earn olo token right here it's not listed on any other exchange outside this olong swap decks right here so it's actually uh, low cap right now and a, a really good gem if you want to get in if you want to ap on the boba network now that it is still new but i want to show you something that you need to do to cut up um cut off on the gas fees because before you use this you have to bridge your eth your ethereum to the boba network and it's going to cost you a lot of gas fees if you're trying to do that straight from the ethereum network so what you have to do is to use um a bridge like synapse all right synapse bridge synapseprotocol.com i'm going to leave a link in the description like i said so synapse is actually cool they have a a lot of stuff right here that they are doing on synapse you can actually bridge from avalanche ethereum arbitrium polygon bsc moon river harmony i mean so much stuff right here synapse is literally one of the best bridges right now okay so all you just have to do is visit synapseprotocol.com and connect let's say you want to use the smart chain let's say you want to bridge from um smart chain to the boba network you have to connect your bsc network which means you, which means you should already have added uh, uh bsc to your metamask if you don't know how to do that go back to chainlist.org right you go back to chainlist.org and search for bsc add the mainnet connect your wallets and add the bsc mainnet to your metamask you come back here to synapse protocol connect your bsc wallet you can see i'm connected under my bsc network right here only when you connect that is what uh, that you you're able to see the binance smart chain right here otherwise it's going to be showing something else um the network you are connected on so now you have to purchase usdt on the bsc network let's say you have um uh, you know how to use desk uh, dexes already so you go to pancake swap and swap your whatever probably your smart chain to usdt on bp20 usdt bp20 guys this is what we are working to so you swap uh, or with uh, with the bsc low fees probably you want to swap like a hundred dollar or something like that you swap the hundred dollar to usdt bp20 and uh uh, of course, it's your MetaMask BSC wallet that is connected. So once you swap, your USDT is going to be showing the value right here. All you have to do is to come here. Remember, you are connected on the BSC network. Then you change this to Boba network. I already have it here. So from and to, you, you put your two on the Boba network right here. From BSC, Binance Smart Chain, to Boba network. Let's say you have $100 you want to swap right here. You just put in $100. And it's going to show you the bridge fees are quite are quite on the high side of course 30 dollar right here but it's not as expensive as you know doing a a a a, a, a simple swap on ethereum it's probably going to cost you above 30 dollars to get this uh, every transaction done on just the ethereum main net right here but of course you says it says here they will give back you receive 0.005 f in free fees for gas all right so if that works uh just this way it means okay they're charging 30 uh, usdt right here and giving you back uh, about 21 usdt so uh, the average is charging about nine to eight um uh dollars in f fees uh, uh okay on usdt right here so that's basically what it is you charge you 30 dollar right here to bridge and then you can go over once you bridge this successfully you have to approve 30 dollar to bridge right here then the, the, the rest of the fees are, are going to be minimal on boba network you can now go once you're successfully <coughs> done bridging from bsc to boba network you can now go back to your olong swap and connect your olong swap to boba mainnet then come on the swap right here 
you can select Olo. Let's say you want to swap. Okay, USDT. You now have USDT. Remember, USDT. You now have it on Boba Network, no longer on BSC. So you change it to BSC. You're going to see the value of your USDT here, and you select the token you want to swap to. For example, you want to buy Olo, like I said. You go here and put in your hundred dollar or whatever amount you use right here. Right now, my wallet is not connected, but you got to connect it to the Boba Minute, and this works perfectly. Now you can swap. The fees right here are just about two to ten dollar. On the average, I think I used under three dollars to uh, to swap. Uh, to approve and then swap if you're doing it for the first time of course you know you have to approve to approve under three dollar to approve another three dollar there about under three dollar basically two point something dollars to swap from usdt to Olo on the boba network so guys this is how to use the boba network if for example you want to interact you just want to interact with the olong uh, protocol right here of course you, you they said they're, they're going to give airdrops to the og community on discord if you are part of the og community for example they haven't done any airdrop yet but most likely most likely they're going to go they're going to do an airdrop soon and maybe when the when we have a lot more uh, influx into the boba ecosystem, you're going to see something. They're going to surprise. Olong is probably going to surprise uh, the OG users and people who interact with their network right here. Of course, you're going to be, if you're using boba right now, you're going to be one of the first people to use the boba network. I'm telling you, you're going to be one of the first people. So I think it's something that's really worth it. Anyways, guys, now you know already how to do this. If you're new to this channel, you got to hit the subscribe button. Try to hit that subscribe button. Hit like on this video. So YouTube will help spread it to people who want to learn how to use the Olong swap and this entire interesting protocol right here. And turn on the notification bell so you get notified whenever we post any relevant content. See you in the next update. Bye.